Hi, I'm Dina Davidson. I'm the Campus Life Director for Thrive School. I've been reading in Genesis lately, New Year. Thought I would start way back in the beginning of the Bible. That sounds like a plan. And I, I came across a story that I've read a thousand times before, but I found something that I've never really seen, never really digested, and I want to share that with you. So this story takes place in Genesis 15, and we're following along with the character of Abram. He's going to be Abraham eventually, but at this point in the story, he's still Abram. And God has sent him out on a journey following after his promises. And God hasn't yet given Abraham the full details of the promise. Abraham just knows a little bit of what God has promised him and what he's leading him towards. But we come to this moment where God is going to give Abram a little bit more detail about his promise, about his covenant relationship with him. But before that, Abraham gives a sacrifice to God. And in this moment, in Genesis 15, Abram prepares the sacrifice and he lays it out. He's on a mountain. And this is what we find happens next. We're going to pick up in Genesis 15, verse 12. As the sun was setting, Abram fell into a deep sleep and a thick and dreadful darkness came over him. I had never digested that verse before. I am fully aware of the promise that God is about to give Abram, but I had never really seen what happens in between the sacrifice and the giving of the promise. And, and it was like all of scripture kind of zoomed in when I read that verse, because I know that for myself, I don't, <laughs> I don't expect darkness to follow sacrifice. I don't expect darkness to follow my obedience. And it was this crazy moment where I realized sometimes following God, it doesn't just look easy. It doesn't look pretty. And sometimes it involves us going through some deep darkness. And I love the way it says that a deep darkness fell over Abram. And as I, as I sat there and paused and honestly, nothing crazy difficult is going in my life, but it was really encouraging for me to read that verse because what it said to me is that I can trust that God is still with me even when there's darkness upon me. And I don't know if that encourages you. Maybe you are going through a hard time. Maybe there is a tough season happening in your life right now. Maybe you've been obedient and you've made the sacrifice. You've laid your sacrifice out before God and you're saying, God, where are you? God, where is your promise? I thought your blessings are supposed to follow obedience. And that is true. Blessings do follow obedience, but it could be that you're in that spot where Abram was. He had laid out the sacrifice, but the promise wasn't there yet. Darkness had fallen. And if that's where you're at, I just want to encourage you. God was not absent from this story. It's just one verse later that God comes and he gives the promise. But if you're in that moment where you're, you're between the sacrifice and the promise and you're in that darkness, just know that you haven't messed up, that God has not abandoned you. He's still a part of your story. He sees your sacrifice. He sees everything that you've given and you've been obedient and his promise will come. His blessings will come. But what you need to do is wait. You need to stay there in that sacrifice. Keep it laid out before God. Don't pack up and go home. Wait for God. His promise is coming. So like I said, that was something brand new that I had never seen in that story before. And it so encouraged me, even though I'm not right now walking through a dark season, it, it deposited something in me that I know I'm going to need in a later season. So if you are walking through the dark season, I hope that that is such a word of encouragement to stay faithful and know that God is still with you. His promise is coming. He sees your sacrifice. And if you're not yet in that dark season, I hope that deposits something in you because one day you're going to need it. I hope that's encouraging for you this morning.